Hi guys and welcome back to the final part in the series Clinic Management System in C Sharp. So actually in this part we'll be finalizing our project and testing it out. So the first thing we have to do is a small modification to our database. So open up your SQL server, you gotta connect to your um, server and expand the databases, go to your database, expand the tables, and we just want to right click on the account table, go to the design, and then right click anywhere, go to the relationships, and go to the relationship with the table user, and actually in the insert and update specification, we just want to change this to set null for both the update and the delete, right? And we just want to close this and that's it we're gonna save our table click yes and we should be good to go okay so right now i have an empty um, database actually so we are going to uh, first create our admin account so i'm gonna double click on this user login form and call the function utils dot create admin and give it the password uh, one, two, three, and that's it. Let's start using our program. So now we should have the admin created. So if we type admin one, two, three, let's log in. Okay, and we want to create some new accounts. So let's create a doctor. Um, your username is going to be. Cara, password is Cara123, the name is Cara, the type is doctor, let's create the account, account was created, alright, and let's create secretary called Basil, his username is Basil, the password is Basil123, and the name is Basil Ackman and he's a secretary great let's now close this administration panel and log in as Cara Cara123 I want to edit the account of Cara the DLB um, something like that okay the phone doesn't matter actually, let's see the account. Account was updated. I want to view the reservations. So there are no reservations for now. So let's close this doctor panel. Let's log in as Basil. Password Basil123. And let's um, edit my account. And edit the DOB as well. All right, cool. Account was updated. Let's now go to patient profiles and we want to add a new patient. So, um, let's call this patient um, Ahmed and his phone number is like 01123 for example. Let's create the account, account was created. This patient Ahmed. Okay, let's create another one. Let's name it John. Let's John. All right. We and the phone is anything. Let's create the John. So now we have two patients. We're gonna close this, and we wanna create a reservation, right? So let's reserve or Ahmed. Let's reserve actually for him today. Slot 5, reserve start. Okay. Reservation ID is 15. Cool. And for John, hmm. Let's reserve for him like tomorrow. Reserve. Now let's close this. Let's view the reservations. So for today, we have Ahmed. And tomorrow, John. And of course, we can 
use all the options to filter the reservations and we can edit the reservation so let's edit the reservation for John edit and we want to actually make him today in slot um, 2 okay so let's edit the reservation reservation was updated all right let's close this and see and we now have for today two reservations actually so we want to close this and we want to close the secretary panel and login as Kara so Kara one two three and let's view the reservations so we want to choose Ahmed for example and go to the visits so he has no previous visits actually so the reasons for the visit today are going to be reasons diagnosis diagnosis and notes notes this is just a test for the system okay so um this is now in the history of this visit is now in the history of uh, of this patient so when we choose him we can find all the details about this visit and we can actually edit the visit as well right okay let's close this and close this close this login as john and the password john123 oops um i mean basil basil123 okay let's create another reservation for uh, for ahmed okay and we're gonna reserve um, actually 22 let's reserve the slot all right reservation id 17 let's close this go back to the doctor cara cara one two three view reservations um let's actually enter the reservation id which is 17. okay so this is it go to visits so now we realize that this patient has previous visit actually so we want to type in the reasons um new reasons and new diagnosis let's add the visit okay so now we have two visits in the history of this patient right okay so that's it guys for this series of tutorials and see you in next tutorials.